today we are looking at lesson 11 phonics. It says lesson nine. We're learning lesson 11 phonics today. Now, firstly, let's review our homework. So for homework, we had to write instructional paragraph. We had to write a how-to paragraph. I have picked two of the best students' homeworks. Firstly, we have Teddy. So congratulations, Teddy. Your instructional paragraph is very good. So Teddy wrote about how to make a cake. She wrote, first, you need butter, eggs, milk, a flavor, and flour. Mix them together, then put the mixture into the mold. Then we put it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. We bake the cake at 160 degrees. You can decorate the cake with whatever look you want, and that's how you make a cake. So here, this is really good. Teddy has used time order words. She has given clear steps and explained what we will need before we start. And she's even drawn a beautiful picture of a delicious looking cake. So well done, Teddy, good girl. Okay, the second homework that I really thought was great was Kang. So well done, Kang. So Kang wrote about how to make a hamburger. Kang wrote, we need two pieces of bread, one meat, two pieces of tomatoes, one piece of cheese, ketchup, three pieces of cucumber, and some pieces of salad. First, take two pieces of bread. Take one piece of meat and put it on top of the bread. Next, put two pieces of tomatoes on the meat. Take one piece of salad and put them on the hamburger. Then, take one piece of cheese and put them on the salad. Take three pieces of cucumber and put them on the cheese. Last, put the ketchup on the bread. Finally, we have a very yummy hamburger. Again, this was really good. So Kang used all of the step order words. He's given me a clear list of the ingredients that I will need. And he's also drawn a beautiful picture. So well done, Kang. All of you that did upload your homework, thank you very much. However, there were some people who did not raise, did not upload their homework. Okay, moving on. Let's get started with our lesson. Okay, so today we're learning about base words, S and E, S endings. So we're learning all about plural words. Let's have a look here. Okay, this word says... Cat. Can everyone say cat? Cat. cat. Very good. Cat. Very good. Cat. We have one cat. But here, how many cats can we see? Two. Two. Very good. So we say two cats. Cat. Okay. Cat. So we see one cat here, and there are two cats here. If we have more than one noun, we add letter S to the end of the word. Let's have a look at this. This is one watch. We use a watch to tell the time. But here, there are two watches. Now, we're going to learn about the rules of when to add S and ES to make a plural noun. So let's have a look. I want everyone to say together. Are we ready? One, two, three. When, when we want, want to plural, plural, plural. we usually add <laughs> Very good. Well done, guys. Okay, so when we want to make a word plural, we usually add S to the end. For example, here I can see three cute cups. So we add S to the end of the word cup to talk about more than one. Who can give me an example sentence using the word cup? Who can give me an example sentence using the word cup? Nuna. I see three cups. Very good. Well done, Nuna. I see three cups. Okay. Okay, guys, I want everyone to say together. So this is an important rule. One, two, three. If end of the word. End of the word. Example. My dad dresses. Rest, yes, yes, If a word ends in S, X, Z, S, H, or C, H, we don't add S. We add E, S to the end of the word. For example, dress becomes dresses. Now, what's very important here to remember 
is that when we add es, it adds an extra syllable to the word. Who can tell me, what is a syllable? Taki? A, a syllable. When we say one word, mm -hmm. like uh, we say dresses, dress is one syllable. And es is one syllable. Very good. Dress is one syllable and adding the es is an extra syllable. So syllables are the beats in words. So for example, my name, Rachel, has two syllables. Listen, Rachel. How many syllables are in the word watermelon? Simon, go ahead, Simon. How many syllables in watermelon? There are four syllables. Good job, well done, Simon. There are four syllables in the word watermelon. How about in the word Everest? How about in the word Everest, like our school? How many syllables in Everest? Mickey, can you tell me? Three. Good girl, well done, Mickey. There are three syllables in the word Everest. Okay, so remember, it's super important that if the word ends in S, X, Z, SH, or CH, we must add ES to the end of the word. Let's have a look. Something that we've just thrown through is if we add ES to the end of the syllable, Sorry, if we add ES to the end of a word, it adds an extra syllable. So for example, dress, dress. Dress has one syllable, but dresses has two syllables. Okay, let's practice. Okay, so here we have six sentences, and I want to change the words in green to be plural nouns. So number one says, she's got three box in her house. How could we make this sentence using a plural noun? Okay, I'm going to... Dami, can you answer for me? The full sentence. She got three boxes in her house. Amazing. Well done, Dami. How do we spell boxes? B-O-X-E-S. Yes, very good. Well done. B-O-X-E-S. She's got three boxes in her house. Amazing. Okay, number two. We use match to light candles. We use match to light candles. Hannah and Emma. Okay. We use matches to light candles. Good girl. Well done. Okay, how do we spell matches? M-A-T-C-H-E-S. Good girls. M-A-T-C-H-E-S. Why do we have to add E-S and not just S here? Because... The last, the last sound in match is C-H. Very good. Well done. Okay, number three. I saw two cats running up the tree. How can we make the word cat plural? Um, let's go for Kang. Cats. Good, but can you say the full sentence, please? I saw two cats running up the tree. Good, and how do we spell cat? C-A-T-S. Very good. Well done, Kang. Kang, why do we not need to write ES here? Because that is not end with the S, yeah. X, Z, C, H, and or S, H. Very good. Well done. Perfect, Kang. Okay, number four. I gave my mom some kiss. I gave my mom some kiss. How can we make the plural of the word kiss? Jenny, can you read the sentence for me? I gave my mom some kisses. Very good. How do we spell kisses? K-I-S-S-E-S. -S -S. Good girl, Jenny. K-I-S-S-E-S. -S. Jenny, why do we need to have E-S here and not just S? Because it has S. Very good. It ends with letter S. Amazing. Well done, Jenny. Okay, number five. The five shark or little fish. What should this sentence read? If we want to make the word shark a plural word, how would this sentence be read? Okay, Zui Ming, can you tell me? Shark. Good, but can you say bit the fish? Very good. Well done. The five sharks bit the fish. How do you spell shark? S H A R K S. S. Very good. Well done. We do not need E S here because it does not end in X, S, C H, or S H. Good job, Zuming. Okay. Number six. We cleaned the plate. We cleaned the plate. So hopefully after dinner. You help your mom and dad wash up. Now, how could we say this sentence making plate into a plural noun? Um, ba, go ahead. We cleaned the plate. Very good. We cleaned the plate. How did you spell plate, Ba? Um, clean. 
S-T-E-S. Very good. Well done, Bob. But why did we not add E-S to the end of plate? Because the end of plate is E. Amazing. Well done, Bob. Perfect. You guys are really getting it. Okay. Next, we've got a little game to play. Okay, so this game is S or ES. Here at the top, you will see a word and a picture, apple. The aim of the game is to tell me whether it needs just an S or an ES to make it a plural word. Then you must give me a sentence with this word. Okay, who can help me? If I want to make the plural of apple, do I add S or ES? Make sure that you raise your hand. Okay, yes, Lekan? S. S or ES. Okay, very good. Well done. When we add an S to the end of apple, we get the word apples. Now, can you give me an example sentence using the word apples? The apples fall off the apple trees. Very good. The apples fall from the apple trees. Amazing work. Okay, next. <gasps> Brush. Something that we use to brush our hair in the morning. Cindy, can you tell me please? E-S. Good girl, let's see if you're right. Oh, perfect, well done Cindy. So that would make the word brushes. Um, Cindy, can you give me an example sentence using the word brushes? Casey uh, is brush her hair. So good girl, so that would be the word brush. Casey. Casey brushes her hair. Casey brushes her hair. Amazing. Well done, Cindy. Okay, next. Ooh, here we have a watch. Again, something that we used to tell the time. Now, who can tell me, how can we make this a plural noun? Is it watches or watches? Um, Tweety. Watches. Watches, good girl. Now, how would we spell watches? Is it W-A-T-C-H-S or W-A-T-C-H-E-S? W-A-T-C-H-E-S. Amazing. Well done, Tweechi. So it's watches. Now, please can you give me an example sentence using the word watches? Kang. I buy two watches. I buy two watches. Very good. Lucky for you. Okay, good job, Kang. I buy two watches. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Okay, the next is pig. Pig. Okay, if we want to make the plural of pig, do we add S or ES? Leo. Leo, please, can you tell me? S, very good. Let's have a look. Very good. So we would make pigs. Now, Leo, can you give me an example sentence using the word pig? I have Thousand of pigs. <gasps> you have thousands of pigs. Wow, that's a lot and lot of pigs. Well done. Very good, Leo. Okay, next. Kiwi, can you tell me? Foxes. Foxes. Good girl. And how do we spell that? E-S. Very good. Well done, Kiwi. F-O-X-E-S. Now, Kiwi, can you give me an example sentence using the word foxes? There are many foxes in the Forest. Very good. There are many foxes in the forest. Perfect. Okay, next. Here we have a beach ball. Sometimes we use the ball to play football. Sometimes we use a ball to play basketball. Now, who can tell me if I want to make the word ball plural? B-A-L-L-S. Very good. B-A-L-L-S. Awesome. Now, can you give me an example sentence using the word Quang Hai? I buy two balls. Very good. Well done. Good job, Quang Hai. Okay, moving on to the next. Sandwich. Simon. Simon, can you tell me, please? Sandwiches. Very good. Can you spell the word sandwiches? S-A-N-D-W-E-C-H-W-I-W-I-C-H-E-S. E-S. Amazing. Very good, Simon. Now, Simon, can you give me an example sentence using the word sandwiches? Some people eat a lot of sandwiches. Very good. Well done. Good job, Simon. 
Okay. Moving on to the next. Ooh, who can tell me, what is this? What is this used for? Okay, Danny, can you tell me, what do people use an ax for? To chop up trees. Very good. Well done, Dami. People use an axe to chop down trees to get the wood. Okay, so if I want to make the plural of axe, how would I spell it and how would I say it? Zweeming. Axes. Axes. Very good, Zweeming. How do we spell axes? I X E X. And very good. Okay, Zweeming, can you give me an example sentence using the word axes? I have lots of axes. Very good. I have lots of axes. Very good. Well done. Okay, next, house. So we all live in a house or an apartment. Who can tell me? If I want to make the plural of house, Paki. Houses. Houses. Very good. Well done. Two houses. How do we spell houses? H O U S. E -S. Very good. Well done. H-O-U-S-E-S. -E okay, Kaki, can you use houses in a sentence? I have two houses. Ooh, very good. Well done, Kaki. I have two houses. Okay, a bee. A cute little honeybee. Now, if I want to talk about more than one bee making all the honey, how would I say that? How can I make the? You were first, so you can answer this one. Bee. Bees, good. And how do we spell the word bees? B E E S. Very good. B E E S. Okay, Ba, can you make a sentence with the word bees? The bees make honey. Very good. The bees make honey. What a good sentence. Okay, let's keep moving on. So, finally, as our meeting is almost up, so this is what we have to do for homework. You write the plural for each of these nouns. Box, brush, dish, patch, torch, loss, church, and class. On this line beside, I want you to write the plural for each of these words. Then you have to read all of these sentences. In these sentences, you must circle the correct spelling. There are many foxes in the park. How do we spell foxes? Is it F-O-X-S or F-O-X-E-S? You circle the correct word. So this will be emailed to your mom and dad later on in the evening. So if you have a printer at home, you can print it out and fill it in. If not, I would like you to write all of the sentences out. You write all of the sentences out and circle. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, we only have about... 30 seconds left, so it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you all tomorrow morning.